Welcome back to Northern Ballistics, folks. I apologize, it's been a while since I've released anything. Most of my focus has been on photography and social media management. If you haven't already noticed, I've learned a few tricks along the way and I have plans to enhance things moving forward. But today we have something truly exciting for you. We got our hands on the highly popular MW Armor level four plates and we're pushing them to the ultimate test. We will be shooting these plates with various calibers to assess their durability and ballistic performance. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Roll that intro. All right, all right, all right, all right. So before we dive into the tests, let's chat about MW Armor level four plates. Uh, they're straight out of Canada. These bad boys are super strong. They offer top-notch protection against bullets. They are built to handle some serious speed and can defend against all sorts of different ammo. They're made from a super tough plastic called UMHWPE, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, plus ceramic and plus alumina, which is basically a type of aluminum compound. So don't inhale it. <laughs> These plates meet the National Institute of Justice level four protection standards, which means they're pretty legit. All right, so level four body armor is like the big boss of protection. It uses hard plates, not the softer or thinner ones you find on level three and lower rated armor. But here's the kicker. Level four armor gets this rating by stopping just one bullet, okay? Not multiples, even though my buddy shot these 28 times and it still didn't penetrate. If I told you by looking at this plate that it didn't have any rear exits, would you believe me? Because it has none. That's now 28 rounds of a, into this thing. But it's only rated to stop one bullet. So it's not always the right product for the application. While level three armor can take up to six bullets. So don't just assume that level four is always the best choice compared to level three. According to the National Institute of Justice, level four plate is designed to stop some serious stuff like 30 caliber steel core armor piercing ammo. What we are looking for is how the bullet strike affects the plate. How much, if any, malformation. When we get to the highest caliber, we're definitely gonna see some malformation. So, let's kick off our first round of testing. We're gonna shoot the MW Armor level four plates with a few different small calibers. We've got the 22 long rifle, the nine millimeter, and the 357 Magnum. By testing these plates against common handgun calibers, we can see how they hold up against injuries at the range or more commonly here in Canada, gang threats. Just a heads up, only PAL holders in Canada and approved emergency services can actually buy body armor in Canada and the rules can change from province to province. So make sure you're up to speed with your local laws before buying this or attempting to buy this. Absolutely nothing in the rear, nothing in the rear. Here you can see Jamie shooting some 357. We were shooting some nine millimeter out of the sub 2000, uh, nine millimeter out of uh, handguns, including the shadow systems, MR920. All stood up great. Full metal jacket PMCs. We were at about a distance of 10 yards. I was a little off. My aim was a little bit off. That's ceramic falling everywhere. As you can see with the 357, the hole is bigger. There still is some ceramic in behind. We do have a very minimal amount of deformation on the back. Zero penetration. Zero penetration. Anyways, time to bring out the big guns. Next up, we're testing some serious rifle calibers. We've got an APC 223 chambered in 223 Remington 
or 556 NATO. And we've also brought along a Winchester Model 88 that I wanted to shoot in 308. It's a lever action style rifle. Both these rounds are famous for their speed and their ability to punch through stuff. We are using PMC 556 green tips for the 556, which are pretty common here in Canada. And the green tip is supposed to mean they're an armor piercing ammo, but in my experience, that's not always the case. <laughs> So now we're going to shoot it with 5.56. Five, 5, 2, 2, 3, 5, 5, 6. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> I wouldn't put it past myself. Ah. <laughs> Every single time. <laughs> Direct hit. 5-6, green tip, right there. No penetration whatsoever on the back here. You can see a little bit of deformity there, but nothing your body can't handle. Is it red? Yeah. Wow! Holy smokes! Jesus. That's quite the bulge, but it did not penetrate. That's gonna have, you're gonna have cracked ribs, you're gonna have major damage, but it did not penetrate. And holy smokes, was that powerful? <laughs> that was insane. And I was aiming there, and I got it there on iron sights. For we wanted to shoot them with some hardcore armor piercing rounds, like the 338 Lupa Magnum or the 50 millimeter BMG. But we hit a bit of a snag getting our hands on these specific calibers before the test. Sadly, we couldn't get them in time to finish this part as planned, but don't worry, we've got some more clips coming your way in the future. All right, after checking out the footage and giving the plates a good look over, it's time to wrap this up. These plates stayed solid with rounds up to 5.56, and even with the 308, we saw some bending, but no breaking. Sure, you might need a trip to the hospital, but at least you won't be full of holes. And that's a wrap on our test for the MW Armor plates. It's clear as day that these plates are a solid choice for personal protection, whether you're law enforcement, military, or just a regular Joe looking out for your safety at the range. We hope you found this test both helpful and fun to watch. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to our channel for more cool stuff like this. Stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh yeah, one, 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 one last thing I forgot. Make sure you go follow Jamie at BC Ballistics. Uh, you can find him at BC Ballistics on Instagram. Just search for BC Ballistics, you'll find him. Anyways, have a great day and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Peace!